Hi everyone, it's Ron here at Simmod Lens. Today I wanted to walk you through the installation process for our new Nikon F to EF mount uh, conversion kit. Um, this is a new generation mount that we just developed that makes uh, the mount more robust and also more simple to install. Um, our previous version um, required uh, three screws, a base plate, and very, six very small screws uh, that attaches onto the base plate. Uh, to get the EF mount on and that was very uh, troublesome for some uh, because one you would lose the screws uh, sometimes because they were so tiny and then two um, it was very hard to uh, mount on lenses such as the Milvis or the Otis because they were they're a lot heavier than the average AIS lens which is a lot smaller and, and lighter so we developed a, a new kit um, that is a lot easier more simple to install and uh, more robust so here we go you'll get a, a kit in a box like so and in the kit once you open it um, it comes with a, a bunch of screws um, because each version of a lens ha needs its own screw length um, so you'll, you'll see uh, for for AIS or for an Otis or a Milvis so just um, uh, pick the the screw that correlates to the lens that you're modifying. So we'll open up the bag The mount now only has three screw holes and The base plate is actually built into the mount. So there's no more base plate required So installation is super simple. Let's test it here on our first lens which is the Nikon 50 mil f 1.2 AIS. This lens is a beautiful lens. It's still being made, I believe. So the first thing we have to do is just remove the three screws. And once you remove the three screws, um, try not to move anything um, out of place. Once those three screws are removed, uh, just hold everything in, in place as much as you can. And the installation process is super simple. You align the logo to the top of the lens. The three holes should relatively align itself. You pick the screws that best correlate to the lens that you're working on. So this is the AIS lens, so we'll take that out. And very simple you would just replace the three screws with the new screws that we provide, which is the correct length that you need for the mount. So in under a minute and a half or so, we've converted this Nikon AIS lens to EF using our new system, which only requires the removal of three screws and the replacement of three new screws. And there you have it. This Nikon AIS is fully converted to EF using our new system. Let's put that one aside. And let's work on this one here. This is a um, Zeiss Classic 35 1.4. Now there are three, oh, sorry, four screws on this lens. Again, our mount comes with four screws. Um, Again, a bunch of uh, screws that uh, correlate to the lens. First thing you'll do is remove the three screws. On this one, there's four. We'll leave that one in. So if you're unsure, you basically align the mount to the top of the lens. And you would remove the, whole, the, the screws that correlate to the mount. These are very long screws. I'll use a little more loosening. A little bit more. And 
and again you don't want to disrupt the mount once you have the three screws removed this one's a little stubborn there we go take the new mount align it to the top of the lens with the logo and the holes align itself this one's a classic so we'll use the bag that's labeled classic classic zeiss and replace the three screws actually sorry this one is a classic however it uses the Milvis screws because it is longer. So I'll take this off. There are some instances where you will have to try some other screws in some different bags just to make sure that uh, we have uh, the correct screw for your lens. I will leave a note on the website saying that the uh, classic Zeiss 3514 uses the Otis screws. There we go. Again, this mount is a lot more robust for heavier lenses. Um, attaches right onto the body and there's no small set screws that you have to attach to a base plate so it makes a world of a difference as it being more robust there we have it the classic Zeiss 3514 converted to EF in a matter of minutes we'll put that one aside and let's go to this one this is a Milvis 50 f1.4 I've already removed the three skews just for the sake of time we'll open up our kit again you'll get a, a bunch of screws with it take out the mount align the logo to the top of the lens the three holes will literally align itself you find uh, the screws that correlate to the lens. This is the mill is 50, so this is the one we want. And basically reinstall the three supplied screws. So it's super simple. You can do this on your own. There's no need to send it to a lens tech um, infinity is is reached instantly because the focal flange distance is exactly uh, 44 mil with our EF mounts and that's it this lens takes a follow focus gear that measures 80 millimeter so to install it you take the 80 millimeter insert and rub and install it onto the metal gear and it goes right on like so super simple this Zeiss Classic measures 75 or 76 so we'll go with a 76 mil focus gear which slides right on nice and snug just like so this Nikon 50 1.2 AIS measures 68 so we have a 68 millimeter insert installed into a size M follow focus gear ring and it slides right on and fits snugly 
onto the lens, like so. There you have it. Um, three Nikon F-mount lenses converted to EF and installed at follow-focus gears in a matter of minutes.